Hi, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, which is part 29, I'm going to continue rebuilding the front of the bus. Um, before I start though, I'm going to refit the rear hatch and the rear bumper. Right, the next job I want to do is get the two front headlamps and side lights fitted and working.
Now I want to put the side lights in next, um, but the problem I've got with these is that they've actually broken. The plastic is just really old. Um, they're the original ones, I'm pretty sure. I have tried to buy two new ones, um, rear units, but can't find anywhere in stock, anywhere in, in, in the UK. So I'm going to put these ones back in, uh, make the best of them, and um, if they're not secure, I'll order two new ones as soon as they become available. Right, next up is the wiper motor. Um, before I put it back on though, I want to go over it all, make sure everything's greased up properly, make sure everything's working. Um, because these spindles quite often seem to get, you know, um, rusted up and they don't turn properly. And you can see this one's all loose. So I'm going to take them all, take them all to bits, uh, give, them a, give it a good clean up, make sure it's all working and then I can put it on the vehicle. Now you can see on there all the rust um, and that's what's been that's what caused it to jam. So I'll see if I can clean that up. Screen wipers on. I want to put the um, washer nozzles, jet washer nozzle things, whatever you want to call them, back on and connect them up because it's a lot easier uh, to do all of that without the wiper mechanism in there.
Now I'm ready to fit the wiper motor mechanism. Just need to connect up the wiring and uh, we should we should be working. Right, well that's the windscreen wipers all finished, um, all I've got to do is put the wipers on but I can't do that until the windscreen's in so that's going to be the next job. Well here's the uh, original window and rubber seal, and get the rubber seal looks absolutely fine, no cracks or cuts or anything so I'm going to reuse that um, and I'm going to use this electrical cable to wrap around in the groove to help uh, fit it. Now I can fit the windscreen wipers. Now all I need to do is fit the number plate and the spare wheel and the front end is all finished and complete. I want to fit the wiper washer bottle and pump. I've got a new pump to fit so let's do that next.
next thing I want to get done is refit all the air vent pipes and the air vent covers which um, trims that I've shot blasted and painted satin black. To do now to finish off the cab is to fit the radio, aerial, um, glove box, ashtray, I've got the rear view mirror, sun visors and the under dash tray and I've also got to cut some holes, drill some holes to fit in the front panel to fit the radio. So I'm going to do all of this next and then that's the front of the vehicle totally finished. Well that's all the dash complete, all the wiring done, everything works. The last thing that I've got to do is connect up the uh, speedo cable, speedometer cable. Um, and there's also one bulb in the dash cluster for the side lights um, that has blown. And I haven't got replacements at the moment so I'm going to have to order one. So I'm not going to do up these screws on the um, dash pod and, until I put the new bulb in. So I'm going to finish off 
by doing putting on the speedometer cable. I'm going to finish this episode by rehanging for the final last time the uh, sliding door. I need to start by putting all the various latches and locks etc back on. this episode uh, she's slowly coming together nicely not a lot left to do now um, so until the next one uh, thanks for watching please comment like subscribe and I'll see you then <laughs>